Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, Alan Tanner here from Team One Sports, and uh, obviously I'm here on behalf of Mike and Worth Easton and Combat Sports. And I am uh, super excited to be making this video. Uh, this is kind of a little of a uh, slightly techie video. It's got some uh, technical information about something that I got coming up here pretty soon. And I um, just wanted to explain it to you and uh, tell you a little bit about what's happening. Uh, I did make a actual hitting video with this bat uh, back about 10 days, two weeks ago. And that will be released probably sometime around the first part of December. But I wanted to just take a minute to explain a little bit about this first and um, why I did some things that I did with the engineering staff to create this. And uh, this bat is actually gonna be based off of the Purple Rain uh, that was called that earlier in the year, uh, or a couple years ago, and the Orange Crush. So uh, what it's gonna have is a 13 and a half inch barrel, and it's going to be a semi one half ounce end load. We're gonna get to that in a minute, uh, because this is gonna be something different than I've ever done before. And uh, I'm going to tell you the name of the bat, a little bit of the background, and maybe you might understand. Uh, it's going to be called the AT-18 Torpedo. And for some of you baseball fans, there was a lot of controversy not too long ago when the Torpedo bat was introduced uh, from the major leagues. And of course, it was very unique because the actual shape of the bat was changed dramatically, i.e. the name, the Torpedo. And what they were doing there, and this is a phrase that kind of got out in the public as something that you had, some of you had heard before in the softball world, but it's uh, three little letters and it's called MOI. And MOI is a very, very important thing. We've been dealing with softball bats for many, many years. And uh, what it stands for is moment of inertia. And uh, without getting too much into physics, but we're gonna talk a little bit about physics today. The moment of inertia that is actually changed in softball bats is done through manipulating the weight of the bat where it is um, and of course with our bats being semi hollow we have a little bit more uh, play area that we can mess with the MOI in bats as compared to Major League Baseball when they actually change the shape of the bat in order to change the MOI of the bat and of course what is MOI all about what it is it's again manipulating the weight of the bat and we get into physics when we get a little bit more weight out towards the end of a lever, that moment of inertia gets changed. And what that means is we can actually create some bat speed sometimes by where we put weight in bats. When we put some weight out towards the end of a lever, and this, would, this is considered would be a lever if you're in physics class, you're going to actually be able to add some potential bat speed. Now, that being sped, said, that's, there's a reason why we don't put three or four ounce in loads in bats, because there is a spot of no return where when we put too much end weight in a bat, we lose control. And I've been preaching this for many, many years. Um, a m majority of bats that are sold typically are around half ounce in loads, because if you do have a half ounce in load, you do change the MOI of a bat and you do add some inertia through impact. And what we want is we want to be able to get that bat speed going, control it, and then have that moment of inertia pick up at impact and through impact. That is going to give us our best potential performance as a player. Whether you're a base hitter or a gap hitter or a home run hitter, all of this comes into play. So. What I did is I took the Orange Crush and I took the Purple Rain and I significantly changed the MOI by it, but I didn't add great amounts of end load to the bat because I wanted the bat, again, to be comfortable for the masses, for the 60-year-old, the 70-year-old, the AA player, the AAA player, the Major Plus player. This bat's very easy to control and I did change the MOI on it, and I think what you're gonna find out is that not only is it easy to control, but you're gonna find some additional bat speed that you're gonna gain by using this bat. The other thing that I did, it's something unique that we haven't done in a long time in the senior line is I actually changed the weights and you're gonna see this bat come out in 25.5, 26.5, and 27.5 options. 
So you're gonna be able to swing a bat possibly that you've never swung before, but you're gonna get tremendous, tremendous performance from it. We've done a lot of testing with this, and uh, most of you guys know I have to work about a year ahead of time because of our production facilities and our, and our design team. And thank goodness for them, guys. They put up with me and all my little theories and all my little things that I wanna try. And uh, they're down with the program. And they helped me to make some of the best products that have ever been designed. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is one of them. So you definitely wanna get one of these. Uh, I wanted to tell you just a little bit about MOI. I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, why we did what we did and why there is a change in the AT18, the way that it feels as compared to the old 13 and a half inch barrel. We don't believe in, and you guys both all know that, I don't believe in just changing some paint on a bat, calling it something different, using some different marketing strategy and say it's, oh, it's totally changed. As a matter of fact, I'm the polar opposite. The last couple bats that I've come out with, I have told you guys honestly, hey, these bats have been so good, I'm still working on some new things, but I don't wanna change anything because it wasn't that I thought they were so good, you guys thought they were all so good because they're limited edition bats and you guys purchased them, you used them, and immediately I started getting reorders from people that were using them because of their success with it. So I don't do that. If I can't find something better than what I have, I will put out that bat again, just like I did with the new Supercell 2 that's out right now. I told everybody, I didn't change a thing except for the paint job because that bat was so good, it matched so many players. Now this is different. This is a total new change and I'm gonna tell you it's a change for the better. So keep your ears and eyes open. Around the first part of December, I'm gonna put out a hitting video that's gonna rock the world and you're gonna see how great this is. If you have questions always, you can get back with me at 561-718-7504. But again, great appreciation to my management staff at Mike and Worth in Easton, and also to the engineering guys that have helped me create something new and unique, and you guys are gonna love this. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving season. We're thankful to be here at our age, to be playing this great game, and God bless each of you.